Hey guys, it's me again. Um, I just the other day, you might remember, I did a, a video of like a tour of Magic Headquarters, if you will, Stone Cold Magic Headquarters. And uh, a lot of people really enjoyed it and they thought it was fun. And uh, oddly enough, I got some requests of some things they wish I'd shown in the video. So, here they are. Thing one, my refrigerator. Uh, my daughter bought me this for uh, for Father's Day a couple years ago. It was one of my biggest surprises I've ever had in my life. Uh, so I'm actually going to show you the contents of my mini fridge. Uh, first, let me say this. You folks over on the other side of the pond, that London pub malt vinegar stuff, it is to die for. And no sodium, no carbs, and it tastes great on a burger, man. So it's fish and chips is the typical thing you might use it on, but can't eat the breaded fish due to the old carb content, hence the reduced sugar, tomato, or uh, ketchup. Those are the drinks I was using to test out uh, Louis Fox's evaporation, so i got to get rid of those. Can't drink them. Some celery sticks, water. I'm actually out of Dr. Pepper. And uh, the little pouches of tuna down there. That's about all I can eat these days, guys. Is uh, And even that's loaded with sodium, so i got to be careful. The old insulin. And then my freezer. Oh, crap. Um, I'll have to edit that. Out. Shoot. Anyway, so uh, that's basically, that's it. Um, so that's the inside of my freezer. Very exciting. Or my fridge, I should say. Uh, also, a little bit of a close-up over here. We've got these uh, these drawer things. Loaded with uh, like uh, keys and handcuffs in here. Fake money. Cups and ball sets. Dice. Uh, there's all kinds of just magic pieces and parts. Zippos. That whole thing is crammed full of matches. And of course we got my doll collection up here. Homer. And the family. Oh man, Bart's tipped over. And he knocked out Santa's little helper while he was at it. Bummer. Come here, buddy. There we go. And of course, the rest of my Fox shelf there with Fox Mulder and Dana Scully. You guys hear the good news, right? That they're doing a, a um, uh, not a reboot, but a mini series, like a continuation of, uh, of X Files in January. And then we got the old uh, coin bank, magician's coin bank. That's <laughs> full of bottle caps right there. And there are these root beer ones I made magnets out of. And my chick magnet. Anyway, uh, so the other thing that got requested was they wanted to see my video collection or my review, my stuff that I review. So I'm going to give you a little bit of a closer shot of this. So again, if you, again, if you ignore this shelf here, but this is the collection there. I got some big, some of these four hour ones in here. All the thicker ones are sort of in the back here. Um, by the way, as we're going through this, I've unboxed all these in an unboxing video. But if you happen to see one that you're like, hey, I want to see a review of that, let me know. Uh, and then we got a whole bunch more crap down here. A lot of that's uh, Jay Sakey stuff over here, which I don't, I he just gives me his stuff. So I don't actually have to review it. Uh, unlike the stuff I get from Murphy's, but... And there's a few being blocked by this thing. And there's a stack of books here, right here. And this is kind of my short stack here. So that can give you a little clue what's coming up soon. Uh, Killer Predictions coming up soon. Inferno. Tab Test. Name Tag. Unbelievable. Thumb Fun. And this uh, Big Blind Media triple set here. Those are all coming up soon. That's my next stack right here, actually. Uh, and then, of course, I got, this is a handful of stuff here that's, uh, I'll just give you that view and you won't know what it is, but it's random people sending me stuff that I got to do an unboxing video for. And then, of course, when I'm done, I throw away the DVD cases, guys. I don't have that kind of space anymore. And these are the, the cases. I put them in here when I'm done. So these have all been reviewed all the way back to here, and that's where I keep track of my... This is my stack of stuff that I have to check it off as I go for Murphy's. Anyway, uh, then of course over here, <laughs> this is insane, all right? Uh, and I didn't realize how much stuff it was. Whoops, covered the camera with my finger. Uh, until I dug it out for this video. So this one case right here, it's full. 
and actually not all of it has been reviewed necessarily but what you're not going to believe is what's in it every single video in here is from Jay Sankey every one of them I'm not going to turn every page but I'm just going to flip through it and you can see this thing is full and every single product is a Sankey product dude has put out some serious stuff over the years tons and tons and tons and tons of stuff um, in fact when you turn around and give you the right behind where the green screen usually hangs and I'll give you my bookshelf collection here it's kind of a disaster um, the top tackle box here is full of Rubik's Cube stuff parts and things um, this is mostly my collection of books I keep a few uh, of my own products there for my sales I just keep about 10 or 15 of them there the rest of them are in my warehouse or my storage room in the other, in the other room this is uh, part of my book collection another part of my book collection another part of my book collection and more and then um, there was something specific I wanted to show you in here oh yeah the Sankey books right there volumes 1, 2, and 3 that's something like uh, I don't know 2,000 pages of everything that Sankey had released up to that point, which was a few years ago. So he's put out a lot more since then. Anyway, so now you put this Sankey one aside. I got this one and this one and this one. That's three of these. These are all full, guys, of, of products that I've actually I've reviewed. I have reviewed. So I'll just give you a sample here. I tried this earlier and I actually shut the camera off, so sorry about the weird angle here. Oh, this one's actually not full. Yeah, oh, this was the weird case. I stopped using this one because the case was weird. Um, so it's only half, and this is actually, this is the only one of stuff that I have not reviewed. I have not reviewed the stuff in here. So this is the stuff that I threw away the case on, uh, but haven't quite gotten around to reviewing yet. Um, so there's a whole bunch I forgot about all of this man I got to review all this holy crap totally forgot about that so there you go man there's a whole bunch in there the rest of these though are full and they have they're all stuff I've reviewed this one that one and that one so um, while we're at my messy trash to desk here I'll show you my little jelly belly thing this is pretty cool my daughter loves this so you just come in here and you push this dude's head and uh, jelly beans come out. Oh, and that's your favorite one. They're pina colada flavored and uh, it tastes like a, this chapstick that she likes. And so she says that they're chapstick flavored. <laughs> uh, and then of course this teapot, this is freaking awesome right here. I got this for Christmas. And you just fill it up, hit the switch, and then in a 10, you know, about one, two, three minutes, it's done, ready to go. With super hot water anyway and last but not least i'll just leave you with this telling you that i still have not mixed up that huge cube over there yet because i'm too scared uh so sorry about the weird uh <laughs> video guys and all the angles and i'm just walking around holding my camera doing all this stuff so anyway i hope you enjoyed that thanks for watching folks and hopefully you get to see um as much fun as it is, how much work it really is to do these reviews. It is a lot of work. Uh, and so I do it for the love. It is a um, labor of love, as they say. So thanks for watching, folks. We'll see you next time. And I would do a random iTunes song of the moment. Ah, what the heck? I'm going to do it anyway. Even though I've got to move all my stuff here. All right, get the crap off of this. Open that up. And where's my iTunes? Is it even playing? Here we go. iTunes. Hit the random button. And what do we got? Oh, we got Last in Line by Tenacious D. Of course, that's a Dio song. This is a great version, though. It's a tribute to Dio. We're a ship without a storm. Oh, yeah. I love Jack Black's voice. So there we go. That's the official ending of a real magic reviewed video. Stone Cold Matt, or uh, sorry, uh, Brandon, my two star of the moment. 
who knows what I'm talking about. It's just weird talking to the back end of my camera like this. So, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, like this video, and enjoy that link that I'll put in the description below to the random iTunes song of the moment. We'll see you next time, guys. Peace out.